the evening of August 8th, 1998, at 7.29 p.m., our character arrives at the abandoned university building, known formally as Building 71, bringing with him a camera and a flashlight to investigate strange ongoings said to be taking place within it, hoping to capture whatever it is. Oh, it, we did a time skip, okay. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Man, look at these old computers. Incredibly old. Got a little TV here. Doesn't work. So there's some weird stuff happening back here. We're just gonna try figuring out what's happening. Oh man, that's not very good. Got a huge crack in the wall. Dang, man. As we explore the abandoned floor, we can see that the building is left in a rather messy state, and whoever was in the building oddly chose to barricade off certain areas like the stairway. It's quite a weird choice, but you know, whatever. Oh. Match. Why is there mattresses in here? Hmm. Seems very weird to have mattresses in this area. Unless there's like for a reason. This is like medical stuff. Remember why you're here. Marcelo. Unsurprisingly, Daniel irritates us a bit. He understands well his uh, his privileges of being related to Claudia and takes advantage of them to pursue the ascension. But I ask you, the simple fact that he is not the, a chosen one, and this is a fact, is not this is not enough to remove him from the group? Hold on, I have to reread this. He understands well his privileges of being related to Claudia and takes advantage of them to pursue the ascension. But I ask you, the simple fact that he is not a chosen one, and this is a fact, is not enough to remove him from the group? We were never on the same page in regards to letting ordinary people join us, and you know I'm against it. I know Claudia would agree with me, at least on this matter, if she were still around. To make, th to make matters worse, Daniel seems to be take talking to outsiders about our plans, and before you ask me, no, he is not willing to participate in the initiation. Weak as he is, it was to be expected. Sincerely, Ines. Ines. Not sure if I said that right. Alright, so after that note, there's obviously something going on within this building. I don't know who's leaving these notes, but you realize that this is an abandoned university building, which means that if the university is still around, they may have plans to demolish it or even renovate it. So if you're just leaving notes like this that have a lot of information on them as to what's going on, you are pretty much exposing that you're doing stuff in an abandoned building that's not yours. Ad Adobo photo shoot, five point, okay. That's pretty funny. Oh, hello. Oh shoot, names crossed out. Rita Silvera Andrade and Polia Sperato. I almost forgot I had a flashlight, so I probably missed some stuff. This is the last room. Just gonna shut that door. Dang, they got all sorts of mattresses, newspapers. Are there people actually living here? Oh, they got a running fridge too. I cannot read what that says. Dude, they got like milk, pasta. Dang, they they got all sorts of stuff here. So there there are people living here. They got like, they got a tea kettle, a stove, a burner or something, a bunch of tin cans, mugs. Building 71 closes. Gas leak alleged. Okay, that's 
about the stuff. And that closed Friday, that closed July 17th. So that was like a couple months ago. Oh my God. That's a dark hallway. Hold on. I like that it time. I like that it like does the, the time jumps here. So there's people living here, and then in the previous note, it talked about like some guy wanting to do ascension stuff, and how some of the people. <gasps> God, oh my God, it's okay. Yeah. So um, I got jump scared by the shadow of a bathroom stall. Anybody in the stalls? Oh. Have you seen the moon? No, it's not the same moon. If you've seen it too, come find us, you've been chosen. The next ascension is coming. While searching through the stalls, we find a flyer placed within one of them, giving more light as to what this cult within the building is all about. Which appears to be that they heavily focus on like the moon being different than the normal moon at least to some chosen people which is interesting so not your average satanist cult more so just oh my god the moon is different that must mean something okay that opens up and you open up fantastic more stuff to explore four people went missing the morning of Tuesday, July 12, 1932. Why is the music going off? The morning of Tuesday, July 12, 1932, began it commotion in the city. According, the relatives had already next week sev. Searching around more, we end up finding another piece of information, this time being a torn newspaper article discussing the disappearances of four people reported on July 12, 1932, about 66 years ago. Which I think is hinting that this cult, or whatever group of people this is, has existed for a rather long, long time. I do want to point out that while writing the script and looking back at the footage, I noticed there was a little error in the newspaper here. If you pay close attention, you'll notice that the dates are wrong. Yeah, I just thought I'd put, the, put that out there. Appearance and the apparition occur. Local newspapers talked of the thing. Only the chosen ones can see it. So I guess that's in re reference to the moon. I see candles over there. I'm going to not go there yet first. Now, I'm going to be real here. If you're ever exploring an abandoned building, whether that's shut down recently or has been shut down for a long, long period of time, and come across a ritualistic, spiritualistic, whatever it is, uh, candle circle, that in of itself should be a massive warning sign that you should probably leave the building. I don't mind spiritual or, or like religious stuff at all, but coming across something like this in abandoned buildings always seem to end up bad. I felt like I was floating, Claudia said. It was like I was really being pulled by it when asked about her blank. So there is like a cult thing going on. I laughed when I heard what they said, but when I first saw it with my own eyes, I really felt like my eyes were attached to it. What are they? The moon? So there's something up with the moon that only a select few people can see and this cult is like trying to recruit those people. We got a TV here. Hello? Let's see what's back here. I saw the candles, so obviously we're walking into a little weird... Ah, look at that. Hello. Circle. <gasps> oh, you're fake. Oh, they're all fake. They just, they're just mannequins with robes. 
Oh, but I don't like that. Our camera cuts again as we're now taken onto the third floor. The time now being 8.12 p.m. I didn't even get to explore down that, that hallway, but oh well. Yeah, we're, yeah we're, we're going up. Okay. So there is like a cult in like the school. Okay. Alright, so I'm not sure why I decided to ignore the obvious body bags right there, but my mind works in many ways, so I probably didn't see it. September 2nd, 1967. I wish the things I heard were a lie, but it seems they are not. I am too old to put up with things like this, Roberto. I didn't leave you in charge of the congregation for you to take absurd actions. Initiation ritual? It seems like you're turning this into a business to to take people's money, and worse yet, use the situation to feed the cravings of your sick mind. Please remember the beauty behind the ascension, and why we started the congregation. Sacrifices were never a part of it. Claudia. We find a note from Claudia herself, finding that she's rather upset at this Roberto character, who she seemed to have left in charge of their group. Angry that he's made rather questionable changes, like starting the initiation ritual mentioned prior, and taking advantage of people trying to join for his own personal gain, reminding him of the beauty when it comes to the ascension, and how sacrifices were never part of it. You really gotta love it when leaders of religious groups take advantage of their members and people interested in joining their groups. Totally not something reflected in today's world, right? So this Roberto guy is like, not a great guy. Oh, are those bodies? Oh, shit. Oh, there's blood on the mattress. Oh, that's not good. Something's happening. July 25th, 1998. Luis asked me to send you a letter as he won't be back for a few more weeks. It's getting difficult to keep an eye on the offered ones. One of them came close to escaping last night when, when the stairs weren't being watched, and that got me thinking. This week, we'll, we'll, we'll be piling up some of the classroom tables on the stairs, ensuring that the only viable way to get around is by using the elevator. I think that way, we can ensure that no one runs away. I would like to know your opinion. Sincerely, Pedro. So yeah, uh, the reason why all this stuff is boarded up, because the cult was doing that so they could prevent the people they were going to sacrifice or their supposed chosen ones trying to get away from the fate the cult had for them. That is way darker than I thought it would be. Very convenient chair. Um, watch the moon, which seems to be what this cult is tied around. Is there something going on with the moon? <gasps> I can't, I can't look away. Oh, it's getting close. Wait, that's getting closer. Is that getting closer? Oh crap. Oh God, it is. Why are you looking at it? Why are you looking at it? Don't look at it. No. Oh, I do not like that. I do not like that. Oh, God. Oh, lovely. They set up a TV for me. Okay, I thought the bodies moved. Glad they set up a TV for me. Oh, shit. Oh, we blocked the door.
retardation. Please remember that you are you are all here for an extraordinary reason. Whether you are marked or not, I have read all the letters you have sent me expressing hopelessness about the ascension, and I can tell you that I understand. In 1932, when the moon first appeared, and then at various times until 1965, when the ascension occurred, again, I thought I would be taken, but I wasn't. I wondered why they, who barely knew of, ex of, ex of its existence, ascended and I didn't. However, I know, I know my time will come, and yours will too. We don't know when, but I'm convinced that it will be the next ascension, that the next ascension will take place in 1998. Everything indicates that it will come back for us then, so I ask you to keep the faith, Claudia. to say that this game was pretty cool. I am a bit of a sucker when it comes to uh, retro style type horror games and this one I felt really hit home with that style. The gameplay itself I thought was actually pretty well paced. I like the idea that after taking some time to explore the environment around you, you'd be jump cutted into the next section, as well as the scattered hints on each section that give you a better idea of what's going on within the building. Though I do wish that it was a little more subtle with the lore drop, I feel like we were kind of hinted a bit early on as to what was happening. The game also was pretty good at building tension, like I was honestly preparing myself for any sudden jump scares throughout like the game, but no nothing ever really came of it, like there were no jump scares, there was nothing really like screamer in my face. As a matter of fact, I only ended up getting scared over the bathroom stall shadow. That is how tense the game made me feel. The lore itself for the game was also pretty cool. I liked reading through the notes from the different characters and exploring the dynamics some of them had of each other, revealing more and more as we got deeper into the building, or well, as we explored the different, like, rooms or sections, stories, uh, I don't know the word. Seeing the process of how the cult had turned into something more twisted and evil for someone's own personal gains, all while unaware that our character had only walked right into their domain and would just become their next victim. Overall, I thought Building 71 was pretty good. I only really recommend that the devs could probably space out some of the lore, but you know, it's whatever they want to do, really. I just felt like the lore drop right at the beginning when we, sometime after we just got into the building, just felt a bit too abrupt, a little bit too sudden, and also just a little obvious as to, you know, there was a cult in the school, in the abandoned building. Besides that, I thought everything else was honestly done quite well, so please go support the devs. They did a great job with the game, and I'm honestly really interested to see what else they create in the future. And with that being said, thank you guys for watching. I really do appreciate your support. It means a lot. It definitely helps encourage me to continue making content like this and, you know, continue putting stuff out there for you guys. And if you didn't like the video, then please tell me what you didn't like. I will gladly improve on that and try to fix up some errors. I'm always trying to learn things and I want to be able to improve how I do my videos and everything. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.